one of the most positive niggas you know, man. What's going on? What's happening? So, you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 Tell me something good, man. Like a song with my name in it. Gangs people like EK. Youth mentor, author, motivational speaker, Mr. EK. Let's go! Yo, Eric, man. Keep doing what you're doing, all right? You're doing something positive, man. I'm proud of you, all right? That's my little brother right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? Author, motivational speaker, Mr. EK, right back at you. Welcome back to the vlog, man. I'm going to jump right into it. I ain't going to waste no time. First off, I want to say happy holidays. It's still the holiday season, man. I hope y'all caught the vlog last week, being thankful for life. I'm going to jump right into this vlog, and the name of this vlog is going to be called Don't Be Afraid to Stand Out. Don't be afraid to be you, man. Everybody is different. We come in different colors, shapes, sizes. We're all different. None of us are the same. You know what I'm saying? So we all got something different to bring to the table, man. And even if you are different, don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to be original. You know what I mean? Don't, don't be afraid to think with your own head and, and, and come up with your own ideas and things like that, man. Stand out. Don't be afraid to stand out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, some people think of things and they think okay this might not work it's gonna be people who don't you know really feel that or whatever man if you feel it somebody else do you gotta you gotta remember that man and nothing is too petty you know what i'm saying we all got something to bring to the table man you know what i'm saying that's the beautiful thing about life everybody is different homie no two people are the same you know what i mean so don't be afraid to stand out, you know what I'm saying? We all got uniquenesses about ourselves, you know what I mean? People have different color skin, different color eyes, but it's all a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? And all these things bring something to the table as far as the world is concerned, you know what I'm saying? So anybody out there, man, I just I just advise you, man, if you, if, especially if you're a unique person, homie, you know what I'm saying? Embrace that, you know what I mean? Show that to the world, homie. There's people out here waiting to see that, homie, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to be yourself, homie. Don't be afraid to stand out, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's your movie, homie. Don't be an extra in your own movie, homie. Be a star in your movie, homie, you know what I'm saying? Don't just be like everybody else. Don't be afraid to dress different. Don't be afraid to do something different, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to show what your passion is. You're not everybody has the same passion for the same things, you know what I'm saying? So, man, bring it to the table, man, you know what I'm saying? The minute that you stop being yourself and start copying somebody else, you're stopping a wonderful thing from happening, man. I'm telling you, you're stopping something real brilliant from happening when you don't be yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's in you. All you got to do is just tap in within, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got to sit down sometimes, like I said before, and figure out what they want to do with themselves, you know what I'm saying? That's very important. Knowing who you are is very important, but standing out is important too. People might not be feeling this, that I, I what I'm feeling, you know, got to know that there's people out there that sometimes they're just not ready for it, you know what I'm saying? Some of us, we're ahead of our times, you know what I'm saying? I've never been afraid to stand out and look different and be different, you know, like, for instance, like, uh, you know, I'm a motivational speaker, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't know my style is a little bit unorthodox, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, man. I'm not afraid to be myself. I'm not afraid to come from right here. I'm not afraid to come from the heart. So no matter how I'm coming, homie, as long as it's coming from here, I can't lose, homie. You know what I'm saying? Was something that was within me, homie, and I had to find it, homie. I didn't sit back and see somebody else doing it and say, okay, I, I can do that too. You know what I'm saying? I, I looked in with them. What could I bring to the table? What am I good at? You know what I'm saying? It, even when I kicked off, you know, this whole being an author, motivational speaker, youth mentor, uh, community activist, you know what I'm saying? Even when I kicked that off, it wasn't nobody that I seen uh, doing it to make me say, oh, you know what? I want to do that too. And I'm not saying that it wasn't people out there doing some of the things that I'm doing today. I'm not saying that, but it wasn't nobody for me to look up to where I could just say, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm a do what he's doing or something like that. Oh, he wrote a book, I'm gonna write a book or something like that. When I wrote my book, man, it was that was something that I wanted to do and I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm the first, you know, nigga that wrote a damn book, you know what I'm saying? But in my area, I was the first nigga that wrote a book, as far as I knew, you know what I'm saying? And then, after I published my first book, I heard about it, somebody else from San Diego who had published a book, you know what I'm saying? Which wasn't surprising, homie, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't the only one that can do this shit, everybody can do this shit, man. You put your mind to it, you can do it, homie. But my point is, homie, I didn't have no examples and shit like that. And then when I got into doing youth mentoring, and community work, you know what I mean? I didn't have an example of, oh yeah, I wanna do it like this person, you know what I'm saying? But when I got into it, people started, you know, that's when I started hearing names, you know what I'm saying? And the first name that I heard off 
top was Reggie Washington, you know what I mean? Shouts out to him with the AWARE program, man. Somebody I, you know, had the pleasure of meeting on me and, uh, and, and very proud of his work, you know what I'm saying, and what he does, you know what I'm saying? But that was the first name, and once I was telling people, nah, I hadn't heard of him, they like, well, you need to get with him, you know what I'm saying? And eventually I did meet him, you know what I'm saying? But I jumped into this shit. I didn't know nobody who was doing this already and that already, and that made me say, okay, I can do that too. I searched in within, you know what I'm saying? And things had to happen for me to get to that point, you know what I'm saying? Like I had my nigga die, homie, when my nigga GFO got killed, homie, that was it for me. I ch Man, that changed my life, so I changed my life. Some people have the same goals, homie, and same passions. And when that happens, there's nothing wrong with that, homie. Ain't nothing wrong with that, homie. Anybody who come after me who want to be a motivational speaker or an author, whatever, that comes from your heart. Ain't nothing wrong with that, homie. Nothing is wrong with that, homie. But for people who just sit back and just copy what the next person's doing, homie, man, it might work to a certain extent, but it really ain't gonna work for you like that, homie, because you might be good at it, but it's something that you're great at, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And this is what the fuck I do, so if you come behind me, you got some shoes to fill, homie, because I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna keep knocking this shit out the motherfucking park, homie. You know what I'm saying? Saying, I do this, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, me personally, man, I didn't come here for no views or no shit like that, man. I come to knock a dent in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I come to be effective and really help people. You know what I'm saying? Really mean this from the bottom of my heart. So I'm here, man, just to help people, you know, and help whoever I can, whoever want to listen. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have degrees and shit like that, but I'm a subject matter expert. I just can't get on here and just talk, man. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't talk about nothing that I don't know nothing about, man. And the people that know me, you already know, I don't lie about nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so don't be afraid to stand out, man, and be yourself, homie. You got something special in you, man, to offer to the world, homie. To offer to the world, homie. The moment that you don't be yourself, homie, you stopping something great from happening. I'm telling you, man. And I wish I had somebody to tell me this information that I'm giving out. You know what I'm saying? This is something I had to learn. You know what I mean? I'm constantly learning. You know what I'm saying? Because if I ain't learning nothing, then I can't come and speak to y'all about nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody remember that, man. Don't be afraid to stand out, man. You're beautiful, man. Inside and out, all of y'all are beautiful, homie. Be yourself, man. Don't be afraid. Have faith in your, have faith in whatever it is you're trying to do. Be proud of what it is that you do. You know what I'm saying? Stand out. You know what I'm saying? With your clothing, with your cars. You know what I'm saying? When you pull up, let it, don't let nobody look down the street, see a car come, say, is that so-and-so? Or not, that's somebody else. You know what I mean? Let them know who it is. You know what I'm saying? When you pulling up because your shit is so different, you stand out. You know what I'm saying? When you come walking up, your clothes ain't like everybody else's. You ain't afraid to stand out. You know what I'm saying? So, and it don't matter if they think the shit is good or bad. You know what I'm saying? As long as you like it. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. As long as you like it, everybody else should love it. You know what I'm saying? But don't be afraid to stand out, homie. Don't be afraid to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? I get on this camera, man, every week, homie. And I ain't afraid to be compassionate. You know what I'm saying? Compassion is contagious. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. You know what I mean? That's just me, homie. I'm a compassionate person when it comes to this, homie. You know what I'm saying? I love helping people. I love seeing people succeed. You know what I'm saying? I love trying to do what I can do. You know what I'm saying? That's that's me on my humanitarian shit. You know what I mean? I help wherever it's needed. You know what I mean? So, man, keep that in mind, man. Don't be afraid to stand out, man. Let your light shine, homie. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself, homie. There's a lot of people trying to get rich climbing on the same ladder. You know what I'm saying? But I always try to stay on some different shit, homie. You know what I mean? Like. Like I said, I wasn't the first person in the world to write a book, but I think I was the first person in, the, in my area to write a book, you know what I'm saying? So, knocked out one book, then knocked out a second book, then started doing, you know, my documentaries, you know what I'm saying? Volume 1 through 3, man, Volume 3 played on San Diego's uh, Cox television station, man, you know what I'm saying? Which was an honor, you know what I mean? And people watched it, and I'm, man, thank y'all for that, man. People been fucking with me for a long time, man. Yeah, man, I'm back like a motherfucker, homie. So, man, I'ma just tell you something, man. If you're trying to do some shit, man, make sure it's coming from the heart, homie. Don't don't just copy nobody, man. If somebody happens to be doing the same thing that you do, you want to do, that's that's okay. It's nothing wrong with that. If that's something that's coming from the heart, man. But don't just think you're gonna get behind somebody else and try to do what they do. And oh well, you know what? I'm gonna do what he's doing, but I'm gonna do it like this. Try to put the remix on it and shit like that because people know, man. When you don't, you know, what I mean, motherfuckers know when you're just trying to copy somebody else and then jack them for their style or whatever it is. People know, homie. They read through all that, but it ain't gonna succeed like like if you were to be yourself and to figure out what it is that you're great at to the table it ain't gonna succeed unless you figure that out and do it like that you know what i'm saying so man i'm gonna tell you something man anybody trying to copy me or get behind me man make sure it's from the heart homie make sure it's from the heart homie because if it's on some copycat shit man i'm gonna tell you man i'm knocking this shit out the park homie you ain't gonna get with this 
I'm telling you, homie. Put me in a room full of people who want to learn and put a room full of thinkers, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee I rock the auditorium until it's pandemonium, you know what I'm saying? I do this shit, homie. Copy me, man. You're gonna, you gonna have a hard time, man, because I'm putting some stink on this shit, homie, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I kind of knock a dent in this shit, homie, you know what I'm saying? I ain't playing with this. Man, shit, I love y'all, homie. Catch you next week for the next vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Man, I told you I tear the shit up on me and I just knocked that shit out the park, nigga.